So many shows to be excited about! Hi everyone and welcome to a new Diary of a TV Addict. Today we're talking about the summer shows you should be excited about. Cause I'm excited about them. I'm gonna break it up and first talk about the new shows coming up and then I will be talking about the returning shows. Unreal, it's a new show on Lifetime that has already premiered and it takes a look at the behind the scenes of shows like The Bachelor. And it shows you how they manipulate a lot of what's going on on screen. I've never watched any of The Bachelor shows or anything like that, but I love this show. I'm a big fan of drama, so this is right up my alley. But I also like that they sort of shine a light into reality TV shows. And it makes you question a little bit of what we've been fed. Dark Matter. This airs on sci-fi and it has already premiered. And oh my god, that first episode was amazing. It's about people that wake up in a spaceship with no memory of who they are and how they got there. And when you get to the end of the first episode, you get a way better sense of what this show will be. And it's pretty great. Also for fans of Stargate, um, some of the people behind Stargate actually created the show, so you might want to check it out. The Brink on HBO. That hasn't premiered yet, but I've seen a couple episodes. It's a political satire, dark comedy type of show. It's really good. If you like political shows, satire and dark comedy, you need to check it out. Mr. Robot. I've seen the first episode and it's actually available online if you want to watch it before it premieres. Within five minutes, I was hooked. That first scene is incredible. It's about a cybersecurity engineer slash hacker who's some sort of vigilante. Watch the first five minutes and see if you like it. I mean, it just starts off right away. Humans. I've seen the first two episodes of the show. And if you're a fan of stories about robots, then this is the show for you. It's set in some sort of future or parallel universe in which people can buy synths. They're robots that help you on your day-to-day -day life and they look human. So you know where that's going. <laughs> I think the most interesting about shows that focus on robots and, and more specifically robots that look human is always trying to figure out the line where what makes someone human. If you make a robot that's so realistic that really feels human, then is he human or is he still a machine? Where's the line in that? The show definitely will explore some of that and uh, a lot more. The next shows I'm gonna talk about I've not seen, but I'm really excited about. Starting with Fear the Walking Dead. Now this is sort of a spinoff from The Walking Dead and it takes place in LA. I think at the beginning of the zombie outbreak and it follows a few characters, so. I think it's gonna be really interesting to have a new perspective of what happened because in The Walking Dead, when you start, you sort of see the result of the apocalypse because Rick was in the coma during it all. Now we're going to see how it all started. That should be fun. Killjoys. Now this premieres tomorrow on Sci-Fi. It's about space bounty hunters. Actually, it makes me think a little bit of Cowboy Bebop, which I'm okay with if it's well done. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. This has already premiered. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, but I still wanted to mention because it is a fantasy type of show. It takes place in England where magic is not really practiced anymore, except that two of the main characters will be bringing it back. It sounds like it's gonna be a fun new twist on a magical world. Zoo, in Zoo, animals have started to kill humans and a zoologist decides to go and figure out what has been driving those attacks before it gets worse. So yeah, animals attacking humans, fun. Scream, well this is a TV version series of the movie and uh, since I used to be obsessed with the movie and could quote it, I'm definitely gonna be watching. Now let's talk about some of the returning shows. Orange is the New Black. Season three is out on Netflix for you to watch. I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Yes, I know, it's crazy because I was ready to watch it, but didn't get a chance to, and once I start watching it, I'm not gonna stop, so I need to make time for it, but yes. Really excited about Orange is the New Black. Survivor's Remorse, season two is almost here. 
And if you haven't watched season one, go check it out. It's really fun. It's a half hour show centered on a basketball player and uh, how he and his family are dealing with his success and popularity. Dominion! It's coming back for season two. Now, I didn't love season one as much as some other people did, but I know that it ended on a cliffhanger and I was like, I need to know what happens. So I'm looking forward to more angels. Strike Back, final season for Strike Back. I've loved the show since season one and I'm excited to see how they finish the series. Hopefully with not too many deaths because you know, I've just watched Game of Thrones so I think I'm good. Falling Skies, also the final season of the series. I didn't love last season as much as the other seasons. I still watched it all to the end and it got a little better towards the end. I want to know how it all ends. Do we win? Do we kill the Ishveni? Plus I want to see Cochise a little more. Teen Wolf, yes! Oh yes, so excited for Teen Wolf. Oh my god. So many questions that we need answers to. We'll be reviewing the show, Me and America, again, so we're really excited about it. Can't wait to see what they have in store for us. If you don't watch the show, please do it. It's so, so good. And that's it, a million shows to watch during the summer, because it's not like we have another million to catch up on. I'd love to hear about some of the shows you're looking forward to. Did I miss anything that you're excited about? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it. Share the love share the information so we can all get excited about these shows. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! Bonus show is Deutschland 83 which premiered last night. I haven't seen it yet but it's a coming of age slash spy story set in Germany in the 1980s. The trailer looked interesting so.